Today was the trade deadline in the NFL, and the 49ers made a move, sending Jeff Wilson Jr. to the Miami Dolphins. In exchange for Wilson, the 49ers will receive the Dolphins' fifth-round pick in the 2023 draft. You know, this was a move that you could see coming after the team added Christian McCaffrey about 10 days, 11, 12 days ago now. Uh, Cal Shanahan, John Lynch, they were able to t go and, and turn a former undrafted free agent into a fifth-round pick. Good move. You know, you look at it, another positive of this thing is that you have Christian McCaffrey, who uh, has looked like an every-down back this season. He, he uh, Through the first eight weeks of the season, he's averaged just under 19 touches per game. In addition, San Francisco expects to get Elijah Mitchell back after the bye this week. Mitchell's the team's leading rusher as a rookie last season and looked explosive in a few carries that he was uh, able to get in week one in Chicago. And then behind those top two, you have Ty Davis Price and Jordan Mason, a pair of rookies. They also have veteran Tevin Coleman on the practice squad. So the 49ers have five backs, uh, had six, that so we're going to have to move one. If you're able to move Wilson for a, a draft pick in uh, next year's draft, that's a good move for the 49ers. On the downside of this thing, though, it's not all positive. I think you look at it and you say, you know, the, the biggest question is the Flyers have a lot of talent in that running back room, but they also have a lot of injury concerns. Uh, over the last two seasons, for example, Christian McCaffrey's missed 23 games. Uh, Elijah Mitchell isn't far behind that. He's right in that same ballpark. Uh, the second year back has missed uh, 13 regular season games and played just 12. And the injury concerns don't stop there. You have uh, Ty Davis Price, the rookie I mentioned earlier. Uh, he was inactive in the week one uh, for Chicago. Uh, he made his NFL debut the following week against Seattle. Uh, carried the ball 14 times for 33 yards, but then he suffered a high ankle sprain, which caused him to miss the next three weeks. Uh, and then also, uh, Davis Price didn't get on the field in the last game against the Rams. Uh, Jordan Mason uh, is sitting there as well. And, and uh, you know, between Mason and Davis Price, you really don't know what you're going to get. The two have only taken 50, complete, 50 snaps on offense this season, uh, including 17 rushing attempts. Uh, as well, you know, the other piece with this that could be looked at as a negative is that in moving on from Wilson, the Flyers lose a versatile piece in the backfield. Uh, Wilson is the only guy who gives them the ability to play halfback and fullback. I know you have Kyle Huszczyk there, but he's uh, more of a fullback slash tight end type. Uh, it really doesn't affect defenses in terms of his rushing ability all that much. So, you know, overall, this is a positive move for the 49ers as long as the injury bug doesn't rear his ugly head.